I thought this picture would be a perfect example of what happened to val what happens to values as they recede in the planes. And the reason I picked this particular reference is that the distance of this uh, back area right here and the trees up front. So basically there's there's a set of trees where you can see kind of back here. It's the same exact trees that are up in the front, but the distance is not that great actually, not even a half a mile. So it really depends on the atmospheric condition of the day, what happens to your values. Again, I'm not talking color here, I'm talking value here. So I'm gonna show you something here. I'm gonna take the, the shadow of this, the tree right here, and I'm gonna put it right inside the shadow of the, of the trees back here. Look at the dramatic difference. I mean, that's how much, how, how, how different it is. Believe it or not, your eyes kind of trick you, but I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna take the shadow from here and I'm gonna put it right inside here. Look at how much lighter the shadow is of the trees back here. I'm gonna take a little sample now, of the light part, let's see the green part of, of the trees, like this, and I'm gonna put it right here. Look at this. Also color-wise too, it's much, much brighter. And of course, if I pick another color right here, another area, it's kind of the same here, but you can see how much difference it is yeah, not even a half a half a mile. So the darkest dark and the lightest light is much different than these trees back here, where the, the of the darkest dark and the lightest light. Now again, it all depends on atmospheric conditions. Meaning the distance does not have to be, you know, large when it goes back in in the in the plane. You don't have to have like a ten mile, you know, uh, difference necessarily in order to have a value a value drop value drop in, in the distance. So the distance, it could be as short as 100 feet in order, order to have a value difference. So it's not just a matter of dif distance, but also atmospheric conditions that's gonna determine things. I'm gonna just take a, right here, a little sample, whoops, a little sample right here from the, uh, from the rock, right here. And I'm gonna put it up here and actually, I'm gonna put it into the light part. So I'm gonna take the uh, light area where the light hits it. And there's a light area right here. Actually, I'm zoom, zooming on it. And uh, I'm going to make my brush smaller. But look at the difference in color. Any of these where the light areas hits it, look at how much brighter the color is. Uh, I'm going back. I'm going to go back down here. So right here, this color right here versus up here too, how much dramatically difference it, different it is. Also, so also you have a color issue too. Colors drop off too, along with the value as, as uh, things recede into into the plane.